so gents, a much improved performance off of three poor performances. Uh, what are your thoughts on our first half performance? Going up on the first goal and then, then uh, getting an equaliser quite soon after. Always nice to score first, obviously, come a good time. Um, disappointed, obviously, to concede the way we did um, straight after. And then, you know, to then go 2 1 down, um, <clears throat> that wasn't in the script. But obviously, to then turn that around and come back in at half time at 2 2, um, you know, made things a little bit different and, and, you know, shed a positive light going into the second half. Yeah, and obviously coming into the changing room, what was your thoughts going out to the second half? Did you have more of a different ga changing game plan or did you kind of stick in with what you had for the first half? Just um, keep doing what we're doing, basically. It was a, there was a plan in place and it, we didn't change anything. We just a few little tweaks with things that we didn't feel we were doing as well first half. Um, we knew that they would try and play a little bit quicker second half um, going down the hill and obviously wanted to nullify that, nullify that and then at the same time wanted to tweak and, and do a little, things a little bit better in certain areas, which, which I felt we did. Yeah, and obviously Stephen Oko today was playing, who uh, seems to be very uh, beneficial up on the front line for us, as well as uh, Josh Oliver, some lovely balls into the box, and same with uh, Harry O'Donnell, they played some quite good football up front, I think. What were your thoughts on that up front performance overall? Yeah, obviously we're um, grateful to um, Ashford for sort of um, allowing Stephen to come and join us, which is some you know good relationship work that Richard has got with Tommy, um, and I think you saw that there today. That's a player that's played at sort of level above consistently, and um, just gave us a different outlet um, up there, and, and sort of lightened the burden on, on Geff a little bit. And the ball came up to him, and, and it stuck, and he brought others into play. And Harry, I thought was superb today. You know, Harry has been sort of in and out of the team. I think he's been a bit unlucky at times, and I think that he's not got the rub of the green at certain times in certain games. Um, today, I think he's shown exactly the sort of player that he can be for this football. Um, and a, a huge asset for us, hopefully, moving forward. Yeah, and obviously, being a win, a positivity, and a quick turnaround for our next game on Tuesday. Any thoughts towards what your preparation for that will be? Or? No, looking at, like I say, looking forward to it. You know, we always we go game by game and we look at, you know, the next game. Once that's done, then we focus on, on the next one. So, you know, all eyes were on after the disappointment um, Tuesday and frustration Tuesday. Um, you know, the boys worked really well Thursday in preparation ahead of, um, which has been a tough week, into. Um, game today and the boys like I say an absolute credit because you know each and every one worked their absolute socks off for the club today and I thought they were brilliant and they fully earned the three points that we're going home with tonight. Obviously now that's gone, <clears throat> you know myself and Dan we're now going to together ahead of Tuesday and um, get a plan in place to, to go to return back home. Okay thank you very much boys. Thank you.